So, this video is about something that's pretty interesting. It's about Lenovo, a major computer manufacturer who also makes their uh, Windows VR headsets. It's about how they are making a copycat or a an identical version of the Sony the PlayStation VR headset. Now, calling them a copycat maybe isn't giving them enough credit because it's actually a little bit deeper than that. It's it's some fairly new news that came out actually just a couple months ago that it was um, majorly announced and basically uh, Lenovo is now going to be licensing Sony's patent for its PlayStation VR copycat. So for those of you that aren't familiar, Sony of course, um, you know, owner of PlayStation, they created a VR headset that works exclusively with the PlayStation. And yeah, it runs for about like three, four hundred dollars. They're pretty decent. I have one myself. I, I really like mine. Um, but then Lenovo now are making what's called like a mixed reality or a mixed VR headsets for computers that are native or they natively work with Steam VR. Um, they're kind of a competitor to Oculus Rift on the PC side of things. And what it looks like here, I'll of course, you know, have like you can kind of see on the screen across as stuff goes across here, they are. <laughs> Lenovo was essentially making a headset that is identical to the PlayStation's headset. And it, it's not just identical in that, of course, you know, it's a band on your head that has a screen that's right there. It's also identical with the overarching how, how it goes over the top of your head. So it'll have a band around the outside, but it will also have a cushion on the top of the head, which is something that is unique to Sony headsets. That is something that they have patented. And I think it's it's pretty interesting. I think it says a couple of things. It says, one, it doesn't look like Sony is going to be entering into the major PC VR field, which surprises me because it, you'd think that they have a lot of the groundwork laid when they made everything for PlayStation. So you'd think that a lot of the research and development, a lot of the, the design for the headset is already created. And it's not like Sony does nothing with computer technology. They do, of course, create you know laptops and computer pieces and things like that. Although I'm not sure, it's possible that they're separated into different divisions of the company and maybe they don't communicate that way. So that could definitely factor into it as well. But I thought it was really interesting. Now, one thing that's interesting about it as well, and people who have used the PlayStation VR headset, you know, it's not quite as high quality um, graphically or, or kind of you know, as an experience, as, as an immersive experience, as an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive. But one thing that you cannot say about it is that it's an, uh, one of the, it's that it's less comfortable of a headset to wear, I guess is a good way to put it. Like I said, I, I have the Rift myself. It's fairly comfortable. I don't mind having it on my face. But the PlayStation VR is way more comfortable. It has a cushion on the top of the head, which works naturally. It, it stretches across the front. It doesn't put a strap over the top of my head, which I'm not a big fan of, actually, when it comes to regular VR headsets. It just has a kind of a band around the outside, like you can see. And it's got a big cushion on the top of the head, which is very comfortable. And then the headset doesn't even really strap to your face as much. It more kind of just rests in front of your face. It's almost like it's hanging there off of the front and I think that is just one of the better ways of showing off how it works and I think it's really fascinating that Lenovo is doing this and I, so to jump into kind of the more specifics of it what's kind of crazy about it um, I mean one Lo Lenovo already has their own design for the headset and it's it's pretty typical design it's the same as the other mixed reality headsets that are out there so it's it definitely shows that Lenovo is in the game for the long run it looks like they're gonna make a run for a, a, a big competition to the other manufacturers and now that they actually have something to set them apart a tried and true different headset model I mean I could see this pulling uh, maybe not a tremendous amount of people over but it definitely intrigues me if I didn't already have a rift and I didn't want to use the touch controllers which it seems like is their only drawback I'd maybe think about doing a, a Lenovo headset with that design. It's a very, very good design. Now, one thing that's kind of fascinating about it as well, um, this deal, and maybe we shouldn't you know, speculate too much about all of this, because the deal isn't permanent. Uh, it looks like it's a, a two-year deal is kind of what Lenovo has negotiated with. So it's possible that you know if Sony is looking to make a jump later into different fields of VR, 
you know, maybe they're just focusing on the thing that they know is working right now. They're going to stick to what they know, which is the PlayStation. They're going to make sure it works on the PlayStation, and then when the two years is up, maybe then they'll make something that is available on computers. Or maybe they're even hedging a bet, and they're saying, you know what, VR is kind of getting big right now, but maybe in two years it'll be even bigger, and it'll be mainstream, and that's when we'll be able to hit the market, when, and we'll have the experience to make something that's, of course, phenomenal. But, you know, I just wanted to share that. It's very interesting. I'll put a link in the description for the uh, the article where I was pulling this. It has a very cool, I'm going to actually put it on the screen right here. It has a very cool graphic on what they look like side by side. It's one of those drag across kind of things that you can see. So, yeah, I, I think that's fascinating. I just want to share that with you guys. I'll put some links down in the description here for just the different types of devices that do use these, or like the Sony one versus kind of the Lenovo one. I'll put the link down there as well for the article. So go ahead and check that out. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, a subscribe, a comment. I really appreciate it. And actually, if you could do me a favor as well, um, go ahead and leave me a comment down below and tell me. If you guys have used a PlayStation VR headset, what did you think about the comfort level of the headset? And if it was nice, would that entice you to, to get a VR headset? How, how much would you factor in the comfortability of the headset over something like performance or price? I'd really like to hear that from you guys. Um, and like I said, just leave that in the comment down below. I'll get back to you. Let's talk about it. I think it's a fascinating topic. VR, of course, looks like it's here to stay, which I love. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks for tuning in.